guys and welcome back to Ryan's EDC Opinionarium. You're going to notice that um, it's pretty dim. Sorry about that. My lights are almost all down, so that's not helpful. I'm also talking quietly because it's rather late and I have people in the next room. So I have been gone for almost a month. I know. I'm sorry. Um, I got the flu. And then I got it again. And no, it wasn't COVID. It was definitely a really, really bad case of the flu. My voice was all the way gone. Um, I've only just gotten it back recently, and it's still not, you know, 100%. So uh, there were days where I wanted to make a video, and it literally could not talk, like, at any volume. And in any way that made sense. I had, like, vowels wouldn't come out properly. It was horrible. So, um, today we're going to be having a look at the Arkfeld, the Arkfeld Pro, not Ark, by Olight. So, I've already been carrying this a little bit. I should have made a video, but I didn't. Um, it's just been... <sighs> lately you know but we're back expect more videos we're finally we have the last piece of the giveaway on the way so the giveaway is happening probably early february um it's gonna be really big guys so keep your eyes out it's important now i don't have the box anymore um it's somewhere probably in another bigger box with a bunch of other boxes. Um, so let's just get right into this. This is the Arkfeld Pro. It's been out for a little while. I'm not jumping on anything new, but I like it and I've been carrying it. So, um, magnetic base, magnetic charging that is, in fact, proprietary. We're looking at three different modes from regular flashlight to laser to black light which is pretty cool you can spot little uh, spiders scorpions they'll fluoresce under this and also uranium glass if you like hunting for that um, now under flashlight of course we have turbo strobe and we have lockout mode, which is you hold it down. Now it won't turn on unless you hold it down again. Now you have moonlight, and to get to moonlight, you just hold it down before lockout, and you have this really nice, I think one or half a lumen. Now the laser, if you're wondering, is level 3R. Um, and another feature on the laser is that if you double tap, you also get a flashlight. You can probably still see the laser there, which is pretty cool. You only have really a low and a high, or oh, I guess it's it's kind of giving you a low, medium, and high with this, but not really all the way turbo. So that's kind of cool. And the UV is really handy in certain situations. Again, I live in a desert, so scorpions are a thing. And, um,. Yeah, it's kind of good to have, like if you're going to a hotel and you want to see if there's bodily fluids on sheets and stuff, that's kind of gross. It's really gross, and it's a thing, and that's why I recommend having one of these. Not just the Arkfeld, but a black light. Um, the form factor, uh, <laughs> factor, factor is pretty good. We are looking at a bigger brick than the Arkfeld original was. But again, it has three features instead of two. Um, the clip, I think, is an improvement. It doesn't have that weird overhang anymore, so it's just a flat kind of a stick, you know? Kind of looks like a fat OTF. And um, has this decent jimpy on the sides. I wouldn't call it fantastic. I wouldn't call it bad. So the light that it produces, and I'm not going into luminage, but it's a little more than a thousand, I think. Um, it's pretty decent. This is the neutral light, so that's why it's not so blue. 
I do prefer neutrals if possible. Unfortunately, it looks like neutral is limited to the black color, but I like it anyways. It has the blue rim, the blue there. Blue is my favorite color, so it works. Uh, we do kind of have a lanyard hole right there, but it's funky. So if you want to get weird like me and make a rat tail, that's cool. Um, yeah, so that's the Arkfeld. Now, since I've already been carrying it for well over a month, um, I can give you some deets. It is a really decent flashlight. The laser function isn't as useful as I would have thought it would be. I often think I'm going to point at something, and um, I have CNAs that come into my kitchen, and they're like, where's this and where's that? And I get frustrated because I'm trying to point them to... I have raw chicken I'm working on or some food that's... I have to keep stirring it. I'm just like, I'm going to point with this laser, but I never wind up doing it. Um, which is kind of more of my fault than the flashlight's fault, but that's that um if you really think you would point stuff out with it that's cool i like the laser i've never had a reliable one before and this is that so that's cool the flashlight itself could be brighter but honestly the step up from just the arc felt is very welcome it's a lot more light um one thing is that it does have a tendency to turn on the pocket um, the lockout mod mode does counteract that, and if you're just careful and you pay attention, it's not really an issue. It's never burnt me or anything, but it does kind of drain its battery. Um, I've noticed sometimes I'll go to use it, and it's just dead, which kind of sucks. So, that's a thing. Um, yeah, it's kind of a risk with most lights that don't have a really recessed button. I mean, anything... can activate that and it's not like it doesn't take enough force because it does but you know I'll bump into something really hard and it'll just kind of turn on um it is pretty deep carry which is nice my little rat tail kind of interfered with that but that's that um that's the look at the arc. Sorry, I'm quiet again, sleeping people, and my voice is still just not great right now. So, um, I will see you in the next video. Look forward to that giveaway. And if you like this video, like it. If you didn't, don't. And have a good night or day or sometime. <laughs>